Hello friends, today a very hot topic is under discussion uh, that is the difference between abstract classes and interfaces. So by the end of this video, you will uh, know when to pick abstract classes and when to go for interfaces in your code. Uh, it will help you to choose the right tool for the job based on what your project needs. So we will discuss uh, examples of abstract classes and interfaces. Uh, we will also discuss the use cases, uh, when to choose abstract uh, class and when to choose interfaces. So too many differences I have planned in this video. So let's start with the uh, differences. Uh, so abstract class and abstract class is a, um, a class marked with the abstract keyword so it may uh, have both abstract and non abstract concrete members and uh, in, in case of interfaces an interface is a, a contract that defines a set of methods uh, properties events or indexers uh, without providing any implementation uh, they are declared uh, using the interface keyword so uh, when we comes to abstract class it can have abstract methods uh, uh, i mean it means that methods without a body that must be implemented by our drive classes so abstract classes may uh, also have non abstract methods uh, with an implementation so in case of interfaces all members of an interface are implicitly abstract uh, no implementation is allowed in an interface uh, in case of abstract class, constructors in abstract classes are uh, called when an instance uh, of a drive class is created. So in case of interfaces, interfaces uh, cannot have any constructors. So in case of abstract class, so abstract classes can have access modifiers uh, for their members, public, private, protected, internal. So they can uh, have fields, variables and properties uh, with or without any uh, implementation so in case of interfaces all members of uh, an interface are public by default an interface cannot uh, contain fields variables it only contains a method definition so uh, let's uh, talk about some use cases and uh, some other differences uh, between abstract and interfaces so abstract class can provide a partial implementation of an interface so um, uh, you can say that a class can inherit from only one abstract class so in case of interface uh, a class can implement multiple interfaces okay so this allows a class to inherit from multiple sources so uh, uh, when we talk about the use cases so abstract classes are useful when you want to provide a common base implementation of uh, for drive classes and in uh, for the use case of uh, uh, interfaces interfaces are useful when you want to enforce a contract uh, across multiple unrelated classes okay so, so they support a form of uh, multiple inheritance uh, okay enabling a class to implement multiple interfaces so in case of abstract class abstract classes can use the sealed modifier to prevent further overriding of a virtual or abstract member in subsequent derived classes so in case of uh, interface interface members cannot uh, have modifiers such as virtual sealed or override uh, they are implicitly virtual and uh, public so when we comes to abstract class, abstract classes can be updated over time without uh, breaking changes as long as the changes are backward compatible. So in case of interface, so interface adding a new member to an interface can potentially break existing implementations. So uh, let's uh, talk about some examples of interface and uh, uh, abstract. So on the left side, you can you, uh, you see that an abstract class uh, shape with an abstract method calculate area that must be implemented by drive classes. Okay, it also include uh, a non-abstract method uh, display. Okay, this is the non-abstract method uh, display. Uh, the circle class uh, inherits uh, from shape 
शेप शेप ओके इंप्लीमेंट्स एब्सट्रैक्ट मेथड टू कैलकुलेट एरिया ऑफ अ सर्कल एंड डेमोन्स्ट्रेट द यूज ऑफ बोथ एब्सट्रैक्ट एंड नॉन एब्सट्रैक्ट मैथड सो यू कैन clearly see that we have an abstract method which has only have definition and one concrete method uh, that has uh, also an implementation so when we call uh, that method display in other classes th this uh, you uh, you can use that implementation okay so uh, abstract class uh, the calculate area will be uh, you you can um, basically uh, uh, define that method and implement that method in other classes so this is the abstract class example and when we comes to Uh, interface so we have uh, two interfaces i drawable and i uh, resizable are defined okay so the rectangle class implements uh, both the interfaces providing uh, concrete implementations for draw method and color property uh, from i drawable uh, as well as resize uh, method from uh, i resizable okay main method creates uh, an instance of um, rectangle and showcases the use of methods from both interfaces okay so you can say clearly see that we only have method definition in uh, the interfaces and uh, when we when we have to implement that methods so we uh, here in rectangle class we have implemented the interfaces methods so this is the main difference between abstract and interface so these are the examples so let's talk about some uh, when to choose uh, abstract class and when to choose interface so uh, use uh, abstract class use when you want to provide a common base implementation so is the first point and second point what is the second point when there is a need uh, for constructors or fields in the base type okay when you want to uh, share code among closely related classes so that that's what you uh, can choose the abstract class and uh, in case of interfaces use when you want to define a contract without providing any implementation okay uh, when uh, and the second point is the when you want to achieve multiple inheritance and what is the third point that is when implementing a contract across uh, unrelated classes so this is the main uh, idea when to choose abstract class and when to choose interface so let's talk about some common characteristics uh, in both so first point is the both support polymorphism how both support both abstract classes and inter interfaces support polymorphism uh, allowing objects to be treated as instances uh, of their base types so second one is the uh, both can have uh, properties so how both can have properties both abstract classes and interface can declare properties with or without an implementations so they uh, can uh, both have events how they can have events both abstract classes and interfaces can declare events that derived classes must implement so you can say, uh, say that events so Uh, they both can uh, can be used in combination okay how it's uh, common to use a combination of abstract classes and interfaces in a single design to le uh, leverage the benefit of both okay let's talk about some uh, hybrid use cases so when we uh, talk about the hybrid use case in many uh, scenarios a combination of abstract classes and interfaces is used okay abstract class uh, provide a base implementation and interface uh, define additional contracts okay for instance an uh, abstract class might provide common functionality uh, while interfaces uh, define specific behaviors that uh, classes can opt to um, uh, implement okay so Uh, this hybrid approach provides uh, flexibility in design and implementation so here's the use case uh, in which we have a uh, one uh, shape class which have uh, uh, abstract uh, definition of calculate area and concrete uh, method of display okay so so here we have uh, two interfaces uh, which have definition of draw method and resize method uh and uh, on the other page we have a uh, class rectangle so uh, shape is an abstract class uh, providing common functionality i drawable and i resizable are interfaces defining contracts 
uh, that we have defined the previous in the previous okay so here you can uh, see that uh, we have two uh, properties width and height and we have a uh, uh, basically implementation of calculate area method in the rectangle uh, class and uh, also have uh, implementation of draw and resize method which we have defined in the i drawable and i resizable so uh, here on the right side when uh, we use in the main method so rectangle is a concrete class here uh, you, uh, you see that okay so in the main method uh, uh, that demonstrates using the abstract classes common method and methods from the interfaces so you can see that when uh, we create an uh, object of a rectangle we simply recta uh, call the re rectangle dot display so it uh, calls the display method implementation which we have defined in the abstract class so this is the concrete method and the other two methods we have provided uh, the implementation in the rectangle class here so when we call the rectangle draw draw so it will show that output drawing a rectangle so here is the implementation of the other methods as well so this is the complete uh, use case of the uh, abstract class and uh, interfaces so that's the end of our uh, topic so if you have any question uh, you can ask in the com comment section and you can also uh, ask in the comment section that on which topic we will uh, make videos for you okay so thank thank thanks a lot guys thank you